So just a short video, a comment on the direction of the centrifugal force. Um, it's outward, right? What do you mean by outward? And in the reading questions, a few of you said, so along the radial vector. And that's not quite right, unless you mean the right radial vector. So which way is it? Uh, well, it's outward, right? But let's go ahead and actually play with the math of it. Um, so we'll start here. So I've, I've built another one of these little computer animations. Um, and I've got a x, y, and z axis. There's an omega. It's along the z axis. The z axis is the blue one. And then there's a little pink particle. And there's its r vector. And we'll just watch it rotate around once. So you can see, yes, that's the right rotation axis for omega. And it's very exciting. Well, all right. So then the next thing that we want to do is look at omega cross r. So to do that, all right, so to do that, well, let's go ahead and uh, it's do a cross product, right? So get my right hand out. You always start with your right hand. You do um, omegas that way, and r is pointing sort of out of the page. So omega cross r should be an angle into the page. And oh, look, there it is. Right? And if you rotate around, you can see, yes, there it is. Um, notice omega cross r is perpendicular to both omega and r. It's a cross product. That's how they work, right? So, and if I just move the vector so it's at the position of R, you see omega cross R. Hey, look at this. Unsurprisingly, omega cross R is in the direction of V, but we already knew that. Omega cross R is V if you have a particle that's fixed um, and then rotating around an axis or rotating with angular velocity omega. Omega cross R is the velocity. And so there's omega cross R. You can see it's in the direction of the velocity. All right, so let's move it back. So now what we want to do is omega cross r cross omega. So we get your right hand out. Start with omega cross r. So omega cross r is out of the page at an angle like that. And then you rotate, bend your finger so it's along omega. And you should see omega cross r cross omega should be pointing out of the page at an angle like that, perpendicular to both omega and omega cross r. Right. So there you go. And just for fun, let's move it up where the, uh, the thingy is, the particle. Right, and as we watch it rotate around, notice omega cross r cross omega, which multiply that by the mass of the particle, and that is the centrifugal force on that particle. It is outward, but it is not along the direction of r. It is away from the axis of rotation. If you had thought about it, you would realize, okay, that's right. And in um, two dimensions, outward and you know r and away from the axis of rotation are the same thing, but we have to be careful here because we're talking full three dimensions here. So the direction of the centrifugal force, just given the fact that you end with a cross product with omega, it's got to be perpendicular to omega, so that's going to make it outwards um, away from the axis of rotation. So that's the direction of the centrifugal force. It's what you expected. By the way, if the centrifugal force were directly along R, then there wouldn't be any deflection from gravitational down to what you experience as down as a result of the centrifugal force on the Earth. But there is, and Taylor goes through all of that. Anyway, just a little quick thing to note the direction of the centrifugal force. Oh, and by popular request, butter, see my butter, butter, yeast is to get to 